What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Nichi Joe, this time of episode 7. Uh, it looked like a very interesting episode from what we saw from the uh, intro kind of few seconds that I was going to watch last week but ended up not because again it just looked like a very different style of episode so very much looking forward to uh, seeing what we've got today. Do let me know what you guys think of this one though down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. And let's get right into it. It looked quite dark from what we saw. Quite dark and stormy. Oh, a blimp. Huh. Very villainous. Seeming right here. Ah, I see. Very much so. What is that candle holder? You can just watch me eat them. <laughs> what bastard. Block of wood. I mean, you just called him that, right? <laughs> I mean, you literally just called him that twice. What the fuck is this about, though? The world cube. There's two of these bits of wood. Well, I don't know, I feel like using a blimp like this on a stormy night is a bad idea. And you betrayed him. <clears throat> I'll be right there. Okay. Indeed he is. How could you do that, man? If it wasn't for the animation style, I definitely would be questioning what show I'm watching right now. Oh, I think I almost took that. I said, I said world cube earlier, so it is actually literally just a wood cube. It's like, oh, it must be a world cube, something extraordinary. No, it is, as thought, just a bit of wood. Wow. you tripping, bro. Dead? He's actually dead. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, 
Wow. Let's go. But how you die from that? That's your old. Look at all these numbers just looking around what to do. Really? No chance of giving these guys around if I'm at the royal family. They just betray me like this. Ah, oh, you got lucky. Do lucky bastards. Isn't this the one that started the clapping? Oh, and there's another one. What do they do together? Damn, he's got a big time voice actor this number eight. He does Abuto and Gintama, I think. Why would, as a as a former smoker, I don't know why you'd light your cigarette in front of the wind, in front of the open door. You'd light it to the side where you can actually light your lighter. <laughs> Especially in a blimp, I imagine. I don't know. It, it worked, but. This guy's gonna die of cancer right here. Oh god. Well, not quite as bad as I just said. Given the trip earlier, I think it was fine to <laughs> assume this guy might just instantly die of cigarette smoking right here. And shit, is that how this. That's how this plays into the story, is it? Super Jumbo. So are these like some kind of like good luck bits of wood or something? Yeah, very interesting backstory for some bits of wood. I'm full. Oh. Of course. What is that? Squid juice? <laughs> what was that? Akasaki. Time to scold. Well, Sakurai Sensei. Of course, I think everyone feels like that. I love this teacher. I think she'd be lovely. Not not great at setting like boundaries and and stuff like that, but she's just like yeah, she's just so. Clumsy and cute. Definitely a woman you'd want to marry, I think. 
although it'd be probably a bit of a hassle. <laughs> Oh, that happened. <laughs> what was that old man muttering about? He was muttering something. I think so. I think she's almost too nice to actually reject someone. I feel like you're almost guaranteed a chance of her. Oh shit. Really? This is just rude. Headmaster's always getting treated fucking horribly, isn't he? <laughs> like you're talking to an eggplant. Oh, that is right to the point right there. Okay, good. It's a husband instead. <laughs> Oh, this is where those little plant things come from. Okay, we see these in the opening, don't we? Bamboo shoots. <laughs> this is what this is what men do when they watch JoJo's. <laughs> you watch an episode of JoJo's, you're just on the floor right after. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pour on the scythe, okay? How much scythes go for on the market? Look, Tengu. Yeah, uh, you actually got me feeling for fucking death right here. Getting this fucking scythe stolen. Oh, a normal game. Oh, not so much. Oh. Not a normal game. <laughs> Okay, these egg heads again. Impressive they can catch and throw. Ooh. There's that octopus juice, whatever it is. Well, you are. Well, that's that's bad for you two, honestly, right? Like, you two should be feeling bad. Farewell. <laughs> okay. She loves her Indonesian, doesn't she? Interesting way of saying that. Something Tingu.
he's happy about it. Never been to one of those places. I think there is one of those near me. Like the revolving food like that. Revolving Japanese food. I don't know what it's about. Seems interesting. Oh god. Why is an adult woman touching us like that? Well, it's hard to tell who's an adult woman and who's not. Maybe she's not. She's got a little hairpin that's quite cutesy, so perhaps not, but... <laughs> Accessory. How'd you get that? You're just gonna steal it? Let's do what? Let's do what? Steal this girl's arm? <laughs> oh, there's the blimp. How the joke was that? It's like these fucking YouTube pranks nowadays, isn't it? Disrespect people. Ah, oh, it's a prank. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank. You actually used to get away with saying that. Somehow. Nowadays, you just get shot. <laughs> and stabbed. And killed. Beat up. You win a hand. Caban, 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 caban. She got got. She got got big time. Not sure how you get got as a robot, but you did get got. Oh, apologies guys, as you can tell there's been a few cuts already today just because my uh, hay fever analogy has been terrible. Helped by my red eyes. What does that like even do? Have you ever actually seen it do anything? <laughs> I'm now a beautiful flower. I have sprouted. Oleta. She gonna put it back on? Of course she is. Like, what does it even do? Run away. Strange behavior. And she actually. That's her sister. I love how again she runs away as soon as she actually does something nice. That's her older sister. What did that feel like for her? <laughs> She's loving that. Word of the day. Watcha. Wow. He did last episode. Not so much usually though. Oof. Yeah, get out of the way, bro. <laughs> you have to bite it. Oh. 
but there is a ball in front of you. <laughs> oh. He can't be cute. True. Yeah. What poor unfortunate soul is getting hit by that. Oh, here are the girls. Never had an interaction between these guys, have we? Fuck. Guy looks a bit like that king. Oh, just with grey hair. He's got a fucking bird on top of his head. Oh yeah, she recognizes it. Okay, I'm I'm fully expecting those guys to meet each other at some point. <clears throat> and a kettle's out. So what is this? We've all been there, haven't we? I haven't actually had a struggle with anything like that recently, but um, as a kid, yeah, that was always a bit of an issue. Yeah, pretty cool episode today again. Very interesting intro segment. <laughs> and there we, we see it in the background of this shot right here, top left. And uh, she's also got that same. She's got that same bird on top of her head that the old, that the gentleman we just saw had. Okay, so there's gonna be some kind of development with that. But um, yeah, I do wonder how that these kind of wooden squares <laughs> impact anything. Like surely that intro segment has some impact right <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if it didn't but i imagine it will at some point right do, 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 do. so i do like all the versions of this song to be honest i like this quieter version here i also like the usual version quite a lot as well this could be something like quite nice to like go to sleep to <laughs> A soothing version of this song right here. Okay, here they are again. And they're speaking. Ancient weapon. This is also a big time voice actor for the What the hell? I swear in all these end segments for like the most random stuff they 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 hire like massive big time voice actors. <laughs> it just shows the effort that they put into this show production wise, doesn't it? But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, have a really good episode today. Um not as many comedy well obviously it's pretty much all comedy but i wouldn't say there was as many comedy kind of segments as there usually is honestly that whole intro bit was uh yeah something in itself <laughs> i do wonder how that will play into things in the future um they seem to have dropped on on yuko but i'm not sure we actually saw her kind of gain anything from it I did also notice that these guys' suits have got the squares on them as well. Nice, uh, nice little fitting pattern for whatever the hell this stuff is. Yeah, they seem to have dropped on her. Oh, I see. That's what happened. Oh, I see. I didn't actually notice that. So instead of her usual, which I never noticed she had wooden kind of hair, but I don't know what you call them, 
air squares. <laughs> so instead of her usual ones, that they, they dropped out to now she's got the ultimate weapon as her hair kind of things. And it's actually Mio, not Yuko, that they dropped on. Okay, okay, that makes sense to me now. That'll probably come back up in the future. I like this middle segment here with the teacher again. Sakurai Sensei is just absolutely adorable. I, I think you'd very much want to marry her if you haven't met a woman like her in real life, which uh, not many of our men, again, it'd probably be a hassle with how clumsy and such she is, how how lack of her harsher tease on the students and and her struggles to get things done <laughs> sometimes. But again, you just want to protect a woman like that, don't you? A uh, really cool segment there. Uh, nice meeting Mio's sister as well. I thought that was pretty cool. Bound to see her again in the future. Bound to see, again, these girls all interact with the um, with Nano and the uh, the little scientist at some point, I do hope. But do let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. I'll be back next week with episode 8. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good rest of your day, guys.